With the latest version of the Wave Super Rack plugin host for live sound, we are happy to present a new feature much requested by live engineers. The ability to expand your plugin processing power for live mixing by connecting not one, not two, but four active DSP servers, along with four redundant ones to your Wave SoundGrid live setup. In this video, we'll show you how to take advantage of this new quadruple DSP feature. Let's look at the actual layout of SuperRack first. If you're familiar with SuperRack, you'll know that until now, you were able to assign in it just two active SoundGrid servers, along with two redundant servers to back up your main servers in case of failure. In the latest version of SuperRack, you have four server groups. Group A, Group B, Group C, and Group D, with two servers each. This means you can load a total of eight SoundGrid DSP servers, four active for plugin processing, and four redundant for backup. Here's how you set it up. The first slot in Group A is where you assign your first active server, whereas the second slot in Group A is where you assign its accompanying redundant server. Then in group B, C, and D, you can assign three more active servers in slot one and their redundant servers in slot two of each group. What this means is you can now quadruple your horsepower while using SuperRack. When loading servers, always load your first server in group A, slot one. This is important for the smooth operation of SuperRack SoundGrid. In this example, I'm starting to add my servers in group A and then I move down to group B, C, and D. This is the best method of operation. Moving up a bit on the setup page of SuperRack, you'll notice we now have load information displayed clearly for all four server groups. There is a new menu in the Rack tab and Overview tab that lets you choose which server group you want to assign each rack to. The choices are A, B, C, and D. You can also access this from the Rack menu, as I'm doing here. Now let's move to the Patch tab, and I'll show you one advantage of this new feature. I'm going to select all 64 racks and assign them to Link 1. Now let's start loading some plugins. Lots of them. As I add more plugins, keep an eye on the load meter. Watch it fill up. We have now maxed out Server 1 in Group A. If we go back in the Setup tab, we can confirm it's definitely full. What we can do now is unload part of the processing and move it to other groups. I'm going to use all four servers, so now let's do it differently. Back in the Patch tab, I'm going to move some racks to Link 2, Link 3, and Link 4. Now let's assign all the racks in Link 2, 3, and 4 to server groups B, C, and D. Now the load meters for groups A, B, C, and D are back to green. We've effectively shared the load between the four DSP servers by assigning groups of racks to A, B, and C, and the rest to D. Bingo! Mission accomplished! Just a quick note about redundancy. As we said earlier, each server group has a second server slot for a redundant server. Or in other words, each server group has its own redundancy. It is highly recommended that within each group, the active server and its accompanying redundant server be of the same model and generation. For example, in this video, we used four extreme SoundGrid servers, two active and two redundant in groups A and B. And then we used two mobile SoundGrid servers, again, one active and one redundant in group C. If you want to double-check your setup, hit the Test Redundancy button above the servers. Wave SuperRack SoundGrid. Now with more plug-in processing power than ever before.